If you have not already optimized your WordPress media images, what you learn in this tutorial will make your website much faster. Most plugins for image optimization are highly confusing and have tough configuration pages. That's what makes the Optimal plugin so good. Almost 70,000 people are trusting this amazing free plugin. Also, we can see more than 300 positive reviews here. Installing Optimal is not different from installing any other plugin. Visit the Plugins menu in your dashboard and click the Add New button at the top. On the next page, use the search bar at the top right to search for Optimal, and it will show up right away in the results. Click the Install Now button. And once the installation is complete, click the Activate button to activate OptiMole on your site. After activating OptiMole, you'll be redirected to this welcome page. Now you need to connect OptiMole service by generating an API key. Click Register an Email API key. Write down your email address, then go to the mailbox. I see this mail, there is my API key. They also sent me my login details of Optimal's official website dashboard too. If you do not get API key in mail, then log in to Optimal.com with this login credentials. I copy the API key. and paste it here. Click on connect. The optimization process has been started. It may take a minute of this process. Optimal is the all-in-one solution to all of your image optimization needs. With full automation and a range of evolutionary features, Optimal makes it easy to clean up your heavy images and bloaty pages. Optimal optimizes your images in real time with a cloud based system to speed up your website and deliver high quality images perfectly sized for every device. With a one click setup and minimal footprint, you can start improving your site in minutes. This plugin will auto optimize every image in your media library and every new image you upload and you can keep blogging and customizing your site while it runs silently in the background. It's awesome. One of the best features of them is giving free image CDN for free. This CDN is CloudFront CDN which is situated in around 200 cities around the globe. Okay, our Optimal scanning is complete. At this stage, Optimal is already set to work on autopilot on most WordPress sites. However, you might still want to take a look at the settings tab to make a few tweaks and customize your needs perfectly. Firstly, let me introduce you to some of the important settings. Enable image replacement This one needs to stay enabled if you want Optimal to do its job. This section allows Optimal to alter your image URLs via optimized images from the Optimal CDN. Scale images and lazy load. This option is where you turn on one of Optimal's most useful features. No need to enable the diagnosis tool, just escape. For additional settings, switch the tab from General to Advanced. You'll find a couple of sub-tabs there. Enable Network-Based Optimizations. Enable when you want to serve more heavily optimized images for visitors on slow internet connections. Serve CSS and JavaScript through Optimal. It means when you add images into CSS or JavaScript files of Optimal will automatically optimize those CSS and JavaScript from through their CDN. Enable GIF to video conversion, very useful if you like to publish a lot of animated GIFs. Let's jump into the image quality meter. In here, you can choose which quality you are going to provide via Optimal CDN. Let's take a sample here. You here I have an image that is 34% smaller than the original size but it still has the same quality. I press save changes. Let's move into the resize menu. 
Enable smart cropping. If you'd like to keep the most interesting part of an image, then you can enable smart cropping to help keep the image well sized without losing focus. Retina images make sure that your images look good on all screens, even the big ones. I prefer not to enable this option except your website is about professional photography. Now, jump into lazy load. Enable generic lazy load placeholder. Here I am not enabling generic lazy load placeholder, but I recommend to enable it for a better experience. For my test site, I am not enabling this. I don't like native lazy load. That's why I am escaping now. Scale image is almost the same thing as resize image. You must enable this to get the best output from Optimal. Enable lazy load for background images and I enable iframes too. What this option actually does is, when you embedded a YouTube video or Vimeo video on your blog post then the iframe or thumbnail will lazy load too. Go to exclusions. If you don't want to optimize certain types of images, specific image files, or images on specific pages within your site, then you can exclude them here. Here if you don't like to optimize any particular image, choose file name or URL or select extensions. Here I don't like optimizing the logo of my site then I choose the image file name then I write the logo name, logo. Actually, in my site my logo's name is saved by logo. That's why I type logo. Before using this efficiently, please check the name of your logo or desired image from media library then check the name and write it down and press add filter. Beneath it, there has almost the same option that names don't lazy load images exclusions just check the images URL or image class or type the name or if you want to if you choose the URL then paste the URL of that image and add filter, that's it. So our setup is done then jump into dashboard. Look there is loading your optimized images. Let's go to our website. Here it is fully loaded. I will open that image in a new tab. Save the image to see what is the current optimized size now. Let's check the original size of that image. Go to Media. Press Library. Find the image. Got it. Lady Accountant. Check the size, there is 668 kilobyte. That was a very big size image. Looks the optimized image that I downloaded a few seconds ago. That was almost 100 kilobyte, and the original image after checking this that was almost 650 kilobyte understanding the difference also you can see when you give image those images building from optimal CloudFront CDN which is very fast. Most plugins for image optimization are highly confusing and have tough configuration pages. That's what makes the optimal plugin so good.